20 minutes after 7 o'clock. It is Friday, February 6, 2015. Good morning. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you're having a good morning. It's 44 degrees, by the way, here at the source. WOCA broadcasting live from the Paddock Mall just outside the WOCA commissary, less affectionately known as the food court. That's right. By many, many people in, in our universe. That's right. Good morning, Robin. How are you? Good, good, good. Good morning, Larry. How are you? Pretty good. Got a good show, I hope, for everybody this morning, this Friday morning morning try to keep yeah. it fun try to keep it light but there's a few heavy things in here that you just can't avoid no nope. uh 735 i guess hmm, i will mix the heavy with the light okay uh, the heavy with the heavy is uh the story about the president in his uh prayer breakfast speech yesterday was it yesterday yes yesterday uh talking about how you know christians have done a lot of bad things too yeah you know which was you and we're not gonna argue that that didn't happen no. but it was so long ago I know. So, so anyway, let, let's talk about that a little bit. But I don't want to keep it totally heavy. I got something light, Robin. Valentine's Day is a week from tomorrow. Oh, yeah. It certainly and is. And I went to the ladies to find out the answer to this question. What are the best chocolates? Uh-huh. And uh, they didn't disappoint me. They did have a list. So Ooh. the ladies got together. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you which ladies when we get there. And they have figured out which chocolates are the best. Uh-huh. You know, it's not like men don't like chocolate. We do. I just, th- there must be something completely different about the experience, though, for you. It's, it's just the way it seems. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a hot topic. Uh, and also the pairing of, of chocolate with wine. I, I don't know anything about that, but I do have some people who do know, so. Wow. You know anything about that? Pairing chocolate with wine? <laughs> yes, yes. You, you do? Have, you have to, plus strawberries. Chocolate, wine, and strawberries. They... All three. Okay, well, good, uh, good. I have somebody in the room who can actually talk about this. I love that. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll find out when we get there. Okay. (laughs) uh, The the problem with the heavy story is it might occupy it. It might it might cause us to talk. I I I will force myself to stop talking about the heavy. Okay. 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 We'll talk about it. I I, I, uh, you can have your opinions. The boom. There you go. We, we disagree. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about if we disagree. I'm not going to try to convince you, and, I'm, and please don't try to change my mind on this one. I just, it's an easy one for me to have an opinion on. So. Chocolate, wine, women. I don't mean the wine. I don't mean. I mean the Obama one. Yes. The, yeah. Yes. Right. Oh, I know. I know. I'll tell you what I think. <laughs> just hang in there. We'll just all. Hey, we're all one, right? We all have a fun time. That's right. News bites at 835. That's where we turn off our opinions, mm-hmm. even about chocolate. And we simply read the news in short form and gives you a chance to hear as much news as possible in 25 minutes. Professor Gadget at 905, also known as Jim George. He's yep. the owner of American Cable Services, and he happens to have a vast amount of knowledge about the things that make our lives fun and and maybe better. I guess you could, you could argue that. Mm-hmm. Uh, apps and gadgets and, and all kinds of cool stuff he talks about. Yeah. It's always a mystery to me what he's going to talk about. Brad <laughs> Nimmo is coming in at 935. Brad yep. is a, a good friend, and we've known Brad for a long time now. He's the president and CEO of Habitat for Humanity, and their second annual Habitat for Humanity Strawberry Festival is coming up in mm-hmm. March. Yep. About a month from tomorrow. Yes. Oh, wow. Yep. One month from tomorrow. March 7th. Yay. So it was fun last year. It was really fun last year. But this year, it will not be downtown. No. It'll it be on the um, at the McPherson yep. Government Complex, right? Yep. It certainly will. Kelly Hart will be here at 10.05. She is the host of Ocala Magazine Radio. I never know what she's going to bring to the show, but look, nope. but I always look forward to it. And yep. uh, she's the executive editor of Ocala Magazine, if you didn't already know. Mm-hmm. Let's talk golf. Boy, we were talking golf a lot last week while we were listening to it more than talking about it. Uh, Tom Schmitz was talking about it a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot of people around town were talking about it because of the LPGA. Mm-hmm. Championship, uh, but Jim Beckett, of course, will be here and to talk about the golf as well. Doctor Dudley Danoff is coming on. Okay, yep. now this is another part of the Valentine's Day discussion. Yes, because he's going to tell you guys that sex is actually healthy for you. That's right. <laughs> and, 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 and ladies, if you want to make your husband healthy, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> go have some fun. You get the chocolates and uh, we get and you. Wine, basically. Yes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you get the chocolates, wine, we get you. Uh, so anyway, Doctor Doctor Jennifer will tell us five sexy ideas for celebrating Valentine's Day and tell you that those ideas are good for your health. I don't know what they are. I'm assuming they're sexual in nature because he's a urologist. So yes, he is. 
Fun he with Joe. Book. Today on Fun with Joe, we're gonna we're gonna catch some Z's. Oh, okay. <laughs> catch some Z's trivia. I and, love that. Any, any idea what that might mean? Uh, like zebras and things like that. All the answers start with the letter Z. Nice. All of the answers in today's trivia with Joe start with the letter Z. Nice. So zebra. Uh, <laughs> zebra, it might be in there. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> Probably. But it's not xylophone. <laughs> no, it's not xylophone. Even though it's pronounced like a Z. All right, and then and then uh, with Galen, you know, I was thinking about something. I still use Vicks Vapor Rub when I need to. Yeah, me too. Do you know? I love it. Do you know, Robin, that uh, when we die off our generation, Vicks Vapor Rub probably won't be sold anymore. Probably not. Because it's considered. Um, it's considered a useless treatment. It's considered uh, like we don't. It's it's like it's all in our mind that it actually works. Mm-hmm. Have you heard this? No, I haven't. I, uh, I can remember some treatments when I was a kid. Like my mom used to use something called drawing salve. You can't find dr- if you go to the, if you go to the pharmacy, <laughs> the drugs are, and you say, "Do you have any drawing salve?" They'll look at you like you're nuts. What is drawing salve? Yeah. What do you mean? Be like you would have an infection or something, and your mother mm-hmm. would put drawing salve. It would draw out the. Yeah, the, the bad the stuff. The bad stuff, <laughs> whatever yeah. it was. Well, I guess some medications just stop being used, or we, we learned something. To me, Vicks Vapor Rub works. <laughs> I've used it on my children until they were, you know, almost growing. And so I wonder if they'll we'll still, I wonder if they still buy it. Yeah. But, but anyway, so I have some treatments and medications that are that are no longer used. Mm-hmm. Uh, to talk about with Galen and some practices that are actually worse than the disease themselves. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that in the past, I mean, Vix isn't so bad, but like leeches. Leeches is on the list. As a matter of <laughs> fact, yes, leeches <laughs> is, is on the list. <laughs> All right, some other things in the news. Let's see. Um, you know, I, I don't know what to make about the the Whitney Houston's daughter story. Um, yesterday, I heard that they were gathering to say goodbye to her, and this morning there was a story about Bobby Brown, her. F- the little girl's father, well, the young lady's father. She's like twenty-one. I'm sorry, yeah, like that. yeah, she's. A but woman. the father of her um, says, "We're she's good. We're praying. She's good." Is his his statement? Mm-hmm. She's good. We're praying. So, well, family members they want to get in the news, so. Well, no. They make statements. Oh, Robin, I don't think so. I, th- I think he, you, you know the so. reporter came up to him with a microphone, and you know he just said, "She's good." Well, oh, that's. I right. hope she is good. Yeah, yeah I hope she doesn't die, and I, I don't know if they and listen, found drugs in her or not. And listen to this story. Are you ready? Are you ready? I want to hear your, your reaction to this one. Mm-hmm. A wife has filed for divorce after her husband, the father of their newborn child, refused to give up the newborn child because the newborn child has Down syndrome. Oh my God, she should be ah. Oh, so she the, gives she gives birth to a baby. The yeah. baby has Down syndrome. Uh huh. She wants to give it up for um, what do you call it? adoption? Adoption. And the father says no. So now she says, "Well, I'm leaving you then." Well, good, good. Let her go away, yeah, and yeah. and and that child's better off without her. And as you know, a mom. it's a trending story. And what's that thing where people get money to go fund me? Yes. So he didn't have. He, he needed some help with this, and people have been helping him out greatly. So. Well, good, good. I'll check that out. Little baby's gonna. Hey, our friend Doug has Down syndrome. He's, yeah. You know, he was a. Uh, while his mom was alive, he was a joy for her all, all of her life until she passed away. Well, this woman only wants a perfect child, and if she doesn't want the baby... What is a perfect child? Then she should leave. Is Timothy McVeigh a perfect child? Oh, I don't know. But, I, you, but, I mean, you, but you want to say my point by saying that. Oh, sure, sure. I, mean, I, mean, I didn't think of it that I way. I mean, Doug would never go drive a, a truck up to a building no. and blow it up. no. Well, I guess I should have really said that if the mom doesn't want the baby, then let her file for a divorce and she's out of the baby's life forever because that dad loves the baby. So the dad should raise the son, the <sighs> child. So anyway, so I, I, so I knew you. I, I, could, I predicted that reaction, actually. Good, yeah. mo- good morning. You're on the air. <laughs> good morning, good Lenny. Him. Just call to wish you a happy birthday on Sunday, man. Oh, thank you, Lenny. Okay, you guys. And you do. too. You too. We share. We share a birthday. Yeah, yeah, we knew Lenny would call this morning. Thank you, Lenny. Appreciate that. Yes, we do. We knew Lenny would call this morning. All right. Uh, let's see. What else did I want to? I s- knew that. What else did I want to tell you? Um. um <laughs> so, oh, you know, the, the, did you know this that the Marion County Animal Services mm-hmm. in 2014? Well, you know, they euthanize animals, and I'm not. Mm-hmm. I mean, they have no choice, really. It's, it's sad, but they have no choice. Mm-hmm. What else would we do with them? But they euthanized 6,187 animals 
in 2014. Oh, that's they, horrible. They put the carcasses, they take them to the uh, landfill. Yes. Which is the way it's supposed to be done. It's, I'm not complaining about it. But that's one third of the number. And some of the animals, I guess, that are in there, the dead animals, are being eaten by like scavenger birds, including bald eagles. Mm-hmm. Anyway, and they've been rescued. Right, we'll be right back. Fox News Radio, I'm Steve Rappaport. The job market likely kicked off 2015 on a strong note. The new numbers from the Bureau of Labor Statistics are expected to show that the U.S. picked up more than 213,000 jobs in January, according to Fox Business. A report showing 200-plus thousand jobs added would mark nine out of ten months of economic growth. Fox Radio's Gurnal Scott. Radio Shack pulls the plug, filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. Payback from above, Jordan Bomb. ISIS targets in Syria. 20 jets, according to our people at the Pentagon, is some 10 times what we would see on a normal day. The foreign minister said that Jordan is now operating wherever is necessary. We're doing um, uh, all we can to target uh, ISIS. You have to target them wherever they are. There's great support for this operation here in country and very few voices saying do not strike ISIS. That wasn't the case a week ago. Fox's Shepard Smith and Amman. Fox News. We report. You decide. Fox News Early Prime, breaking down business news and its impact on your bottom line. Your world with Neil Cavuto. That's how I do business. That's why I am business. Bold positions and brash opinions on the topics America is buzzing about. The five. How do you think this will set in with the American people? This will be the pulse of the nation. Washington insight and political know-how from the best in the Beltway. Special report with Brett Bay. The epicenter of the political world is here. The number one place for fair and balanced coverage. Fox News Channel. What's wrong with working hard to make our lives and our kids' lives better. Nothing. At Fox Business, we don't have a problem with success. We have a very big problem with those who get in the way of it. We don't come out of the box bashing those who make money. Just the politicians stealing it and the bureaucracies wasting it. We're not just sitting behind a desk. We're out in the field, on the floor, with the folks. Because when a story moves forward, so do we. Fox Business, the power to prosper. Check your local listings what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. If you woke up feeling bloated, load up on water-rich fruits and veggies. Reminiscing about your first encounter, talking about it, creates the same changes in brain chemistry in both of you, which means it'll feel like you're falling in love all over again. If you experience breakouts and you normally drink fat-free milk, consider switching to 1% milk or dairy alternatives that contain fewer than 10 grams of sugar per serving. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Located next door to Silver Spring State Park and a few minutes from historic downtown Ocala, our award-winning Holiday Inn Express Hotel and Suites of Silver Springs is the place to stay for a friendly, memorable, and fun experience. Enjoy our fast and free Wi-Fi, complimentary hot breakfast, and free parking. Whether you're in town for work or play, our friendly staff will make you feel right at home. That's the Holiday Inn Express and Suites of Silver Springs. Proud sponsor of College of Central Florida Basketball on WOCA The Source. Join us on Saturday, March 7, 2015 for the second annual Habitat Strawberries Festival at the McPherson Government Complex. The goal of this festival is not only to provide a great time for families in Ocala, but to also raise funds to build a home for our family and our community and support Habitat for Humanity's mission to strengthen communities, build hope, and provide dignified housing solutions. Remember, Saturday, March 7, 2015 for the second annual Habitat Strawberries Festival at the McPherson Government Complex, which starts at 7 a.m. with breakfast. Hey Ocala, this is Kelly Hart, executive editor of Ocala Magazine. Did you know last year Ocala Magazine won more awards and excellence than any other publication in Florida? And this year, Ocala Magazine was named best consumer magazine in the state. Now you can join me every Friday at 10 a.m. on Ocala Magazine Radio, where we bring the pages of Ocala Magazine to life, right here on The Source. Ocala Magazine thanks you for making us number one. And remember, there is only one Ocala Magazine. Legally Yours, brought to you by Fuller & Fuller Attorneys at Law. On the air every Wednesday morning at 10.30 a.m. with John Fuller, a board-certified civil trial lawyer for over 25 years. John welcomes your questions from business to complex family matters to legal disputes. So tune in every Wednesday morning at 10.30 a.m. for Legally Yours with John Fuller, right here on WOCA 1370 a.m. and 96.3 FM, The Source. 
Hey, Matt. I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that. I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new Yep, truck. we can even do that too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. All right, 25 minutes before 8 o'clock. A little chilly out there. 44 degrees here at the studios at the mall, the paddock mall. Uh, let's see. We've got a few things I want to talk about, but Linda is on the phone. Good morning, Linda. How you doing? Good morning. Um, hey, I heard your stats about how many animals were put down at uh, Baseline Animal Shelter last year. Right. And I've heard that before. Like a couple of years ago, I checked the numbers, and it was like 7,000. Okay. And, uh, and then 6,000 last year. So they're probably doing a little better job, you know. But uh, the sad thing is when you think about it, you know, if you do the, just a little bit of math, in 10 years, that's 60,000 animals. Well, and also the way I understand... That are put in a landfill. And also the way I understand it, that's one-third of the number of animals that are in the landfill. There's another approximately 12,000, I guess, that come from other places. I guess individuals throw their dogs away. Yeah. I've, I have no idea what that is, is about. I can't Isn't that sad? I mean, when I, when I did the a uh, couple years ago when I got the number and it was 7,000, and I had to present it to a group, I thought... Oh my God, that's 21,000 animals put down at that baseline animal shelter right. in three years. Right, right, right. Not even the fact that they're going to the landfill, but the loss of life. Exactly. I, I just can't believe it, you know? I don't know what and, else uh, they would do. That. I mean, I don't know. How, how, would, they, heard, how would they handle it? I heard it? the other day, here, here I think the, the solution is, I heard the other day, and I don't know how true it is, because you hear things on Facebook and you read it. It said one female on stage dog has the potential in six years her offsprings to produce 67,000 dogs. What? Now, that seems like a lot, but if you take a litter of what? 10, and then that litter has 10. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, 10, I got you. Okay, right, right, right. So yeah. Just spay or neuter your animal. That's right. Well, he, he, and you will reduce the, problem, the number of animals going into that shelter. I, I you know, I have, I have a conclusion, Linda, about the whole world's problems. All the world's problems yeah. are because we have unreasonable people in the world. Right. <laughs> unreasonable pet owners, unreasonable religious fanatics, unreasonable. If if you if, if you're reasonable, then you don't get any of this. Like, hopefully. You know, I'm reasonable. I feel like I am. You know, but there I but are. but I think a lot of people are unreasonable. They just say, ah, it's a dog. I'll do what I want to do. Whatever. Yeah. They're, you know? they're, they're not responsible. They don't care. Yeah. Um. You know, and there's no reason you can't say I can't afford it. You can go to the Humane Society, sign up as a volunteer. There's so many hours. They'll give you a spay and neuter certificate that honors that like ten vets in this county. You know what? That, well, that's a good PR campaign right there. Yeah. We, we should somehow get together with them and make that known, because I didn't even know that part. But Let's do it. We'll have, to, we'll have to have the volunteer, maybe talk about the volunteer program. Yeah, yeah just just some day you know where we can come in, but I mean, there's no reason raise to awareness about that one when all you have to do is donate thirty hours to the Humane Society walking dogs. See, I didn't know that. We're playing with the kitties. Mm -mm. Did not, did not know that. How hard is that? That doesn't cost you anything. No, that's a good point. I think that needs to be a campaign yeah. because I didn't know about that. Did mm -hmm. you know that? I did not yeah, know that. I'm so glad you brought that up about the animals because that's... that's uh, that's well, and, and the you know, the animals think all those animals the, a year been put down needlessly. And the animal story is stemming from the rescue of the bald eagles because right because they're picking at the bones in the landfill, and right? Being poisoned right. by the chemicals they're putting the dogs and cats down. Right, with. exactly. But, I got a but solution: I, turn it into a no kill shelter, and have the county find a way to solve waste. And the waste money that's going for crazy things go to saving the animals. How's that sound? Okay, but I don't know enough okay. about it. I don't know enough about it. Sounds good to me, but I don't know it enough about it because I don't know if we can do it. Because the question that somebody would ask is, well, what do you do with all the dogs? I mean, once you have so many dogs, it costs money to keep all those dogs in there, just like it does the Humane Society. Okay, then you get out there and you do really, really big promotions. 
do okay well it sounds like a, sounds like a plan I, I, I like i say i don't know enough paint about it kids come on out to the <laughs> shelter we'll paint your kids face we'll give you free hot dogs it take sounds home like a dogs. mission that yeah. needs to be done i'm a with i'm with you i don't want the dogs <laughs> okay, killed either we'll have to get on it okay all right thank you linda let me let me Thanks. let me squeeze in another phone call we may we may not talk about chocolates at all or or obama <laughs> good, good morning you're on the air <laughs> Yeah, good morning, good morning. Uh, I got my little Nelson from the uh, from the pound, and uh, he is uh, just a little joy. Uh, and we had some uh, some early uh, trouble getting used to each other, but uh, no, he's a nice little gray furball now. Now, it sounded Aww. like you said you're Bill Nelson. You call your dog Bill Nelson? No, no, my, my kitty is Nelson. Oh, Okay. Oh, I thought you said your the, the I name you, of the cat I was you na- Bill Nelson. I thought you named the animal after the senator. <laughs> no, uh, that was the name that the, uh, the the pound had him registered under. Okay. Oh, okay. It was oh, okay. registered under Bill Nelson. The name. Okay. <laughs> Somebody well, named him after. Uh, but see, but see, but again, but see, again, you're. I gave him that name, but uh, it's, uh, you know, good with me. It's good. Yeah, it's a good name. But uh, you see, you're a reasonable person. This is this is, I think, the problem with the world. Reasonable people are the victims of unreasonable people. Yes. And so yeah, are... There you go. Yeah. That's, that's, the, that's the whole world. That's the whole world right there. I just figured it out. <laughs> How do you make unreasonable people reasonable? That's the question. Uh, hope that they see the light one day. <laughs> yeah, really. Maybe we should divide the world. Oh, all unreasonable go. people on this side. Oh, and all the go. reasonable people on this side. You have to take the reasonable test. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay, have a good morning. Thank all. you, Jim. All right, so let's talk about the, the serious one here, and I'll squeeze it in. And then after the break, it's chocolate and wine, okay? Yummy. Okay. So here's the serious one, and you can call in with this one if you want. But this is a story. I'm just reading it to you. I'm getting it from the Associated Press. President Barack Obama stirred outrage with his speech at the National Prayer Breakfast yesterday comparing the atrocities committed by ISIS to those of Christians in the name of Christ. The quote from the president is, unless we get on our high horse and think that this is unique to some other place, remember that during the Crusades and Inquisition, people committed terrible deeds in the name of Christ. In our home country, slavery and Jim Crow all too often were justified in the name of Christ. So this is not unique to one group or one religion, the president, this is all from the president, there is a tendency in us, a simple tendency that we can pervert and distort our faith. Those are all the comments that the president made. So that's causing controversy. Um, uh, Let's see, uh, Pat Buchanan commented, he said uh, he's trying to give them all equivalent to what happened in the 11th century to what's happening today, and that is astonishing. That's a a quote from uh, Pat Buchanan. But Obama says our faith, so what faith is Obama? Who went on to say the whole idea of the Inquisition in Spain, I mean, these things are hundreds of years ago. That was a 30-year war long. That was a 30-year war long, long ago. I can't think of any atrocities that have been really, that have been committed in the name of Christ. There's no justification anywhere in all the books of the New Testament for any kind of violence on the scale of what we just saw with the Jordanian pilot. That's right. Uh, Buchanan said Obama has a real problem with the cold, hard truth and reality of our times regarding terrorism. Buchanan went on to say there is an element in the Islamic community worldwide which has awakened and is embarked on a global crusade of its own to conquer Western countries. But first they want to conquer Arab and Muslim countries and to impose upon them a Sharia law to expel the Christians, Jews, and the non-believers if they're Shiite and not part of what they consider the mainstream. They're using all manner of violence in order to achieve this, from Boko Haram to ISIS to Ansar al-Sharia and to al-Qaeda. Can, you, can the president not see the reality of his own time that he's got to retreat centuries to find what he thinks might be a moral equivalence? That's a question from Buchanan. Yeah, good for him to write that. Buchanan also objected to Obama's reference to racial segregation laws during the Jim Crow era during the same speech to call it Jim Crow which was a form of segregation of racists to say that was rooted in Christianity it seems to be a, an absurdity and an injustice mm-hmm. uh, former U.S. Representative Alan West said President Obama is 
the gift that keeps on giving. (laughs) (laughs) I love that. (laughs) In a statement on his website, Bill Donahue, president of the Catholic League, said the president should apologize for his insulting comparison. There you go. Former Virginia Governor Jim Gilmore, a Republican, said Obama's remarks were the most offensive I've heard a president make in my lifetime. Uh, and there you go. That's the story. That's what's being talked about. It is a trending news story, and um, we all have our opinions about it. That's right. Again, I think the reason, the problem with the world, we have unreasonable people and reasonable people, mm-hmm. and the unreasonable ones are the problem. We'll be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. A nice day today, mostly sunny skies and breezy. Maybe a shower along the coast for a time, the high 63 to 67. And partly cloudy tonight, lows ranging from 38 in a few inland spots to about 50 along the coast. Tomorrow, more sun than clouds and milder in the afternoon, the high 67 to 71. On Sunday, a pleasant day with plenty of sunshine, the high 71 to 75. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. a garden and we've got a show for you called You've Got a Garden with your host Master Gardener Carol Ann Baldwin Carol Ann answers your questions about your flowers your veggies, your grass, your trees even questions about your bugs and she's only on WOCA so don't miss Carol Ann Baldwin and You've Got a Garden each Tuesday from 9am to 10am right here on WOCA The Source Good credits, bad credits It's none of our business Because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSales.com. Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. Prices and inventory change daily. Offered is not included to upcharge. Undercoding rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Do you have areas that have started sagging or drooping? Is what you're looking at not quite the same as it was years ago? Are there enhancements you've been putting off? Is there serious damage you need fixed? Then call on us, Damage Control Services. When your roof is sagging and the drywall is drooping after a storm, or your home just needs some enhancements from damage repairs to new construction, Damage Control Services is here to help. Hi, I'm Leah Caruso with Strive Rehabilitation, inviting you to join me Thursday at 11 a.m. for Health Matters. Ocala Health and Strive have teamed up to bring you the latest information on good health services available to you right here at home. This vital information will help you make informed decisions about your health. So don't forget to join me here at 11 a.m. Thursday. It's news you can use from Ocala Health, Strive, and your friends here at WOCA. Your home is safe. Or is it? AA Lock, Dock, and Security. The name has been a staple in Ocala since 1985. Do you have the right equipment in place to have peace of mind when you are at home or away? AA Lock, Dock, and Security has the right people to install and monitor your home or business. Call today for a free on-site security analysis. Call 867-1965. AA Lock, Dock, and Security. 219 Northwest 10th Street. 867-1965. We are the source. W-O-C-A. All right. 12 minutes before 8 o'clock. Still 44 degrees out there. What is what is it going to be? Let me let me do a quick look at the uh, the forecast here. Oh, yeah, because we're doing the first Friday art walk tonight. Oh, that's right. Tonight, yeah. it's gonna it's not going to get... Let's Six see. To nine. Highs today around 60. So it's going to stay cool all day. Oh, okay. And then lows before tomorrow morning, 39 degrees. Mm-hmm. So as the sun is setting and we're sitting out there, um pa pa mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it's going to be cold. It's gonna okay. Be cold. Tomorrow, high is around 70, and lows tomorrow night around 45, so that's a little bit of an improvement. And then even warmer on Sunday. Okay. And then it drops again Monday and Tuesday. By the way, did you see the the story about the lakes are starting to get filled up again? I think that's good news. No, I didn't see that. Yeah. I I mean, the story I had was from Lake County. Mm -hmm. That's where the lakes are. (laughs) (laughs) But I mean, mean, we're we're night neighbors, so I would assume. I'm going to have to drive over to Rainbow Lakes and see if that lake is is back to being healthy again. It was was almost healthy last time I went back there. Yes. Which which is a good thing. And Orange Lake, I've heard that people are now boating it out there again. And mm-hmm. well, I think because you know the water bottling companies have are starting to be squished, so that really takes you know a lot away from draining the aquifer. All right. So the three the three stories that got, that evoked the most emotion this morning were the, uh, the the story about Obama. 
Mm-hmm. I had a call during the break, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. And and the story about the the woman who was divorcing her husband because he refused to uh, put their baby, which was born with Down syndrome, up for adoption. Yes. So Good now, for so, him. So now he's going to get the baby, and she's going to leave him. Good. Like but the biggest reaction was to the dog story. Yeah. The biggest reaction was to the dogs, uh, the carcasses of the animals, not just dogs, uh, being brought to the... To the but but that, they've been doing this for a long time. They've been bringing yeah. animals to the uh, landfill for a long time. Yeah. And, and you know what's interesting about that story is that when the uh, when a euthanized animal has poisons in its system mm-hmm. and the carcass is then picked on by, by birds that are... What do you call birds that eat other animals? Like like vultures, what are they? Yeah, uh, I, I don't remember what they're called. Scavengers. Scavengers, thank Scavengers, thank that's you. it. So when, when the eagle, eagles are just... Eagles do the same thing that uh, vultures do. Well, sort of, kind of. I mean, eagles yeah. will take live animals, too. Yeah. But anyway, they, they find food where they find food. I mean, food is food for, in their world. But, but we, people, have a tendency to be prejudiced against animals just as we do with each other <laughs> yeah <laughs> and so the vultures who eat these carcasses and then die from the poison <laughs> let them die it's a vulture yeah right <laughs> but when the bald eagle eats these things yeah <laughs> we gotta hurry up and save them well it's an endangered species I understand that plus it's the national bird we don't want to lose our national bird but that's just, right but I'm just thinking if I was a vulture and I was choking in the in, in the in the landfill and I see all these rescue people coming and getting my my friend the choking bald eagle. <laughs> I would say, hey, 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 what about what about me? I, I was I was eating that dead dog too. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Tomorrow is uh, one week before Valentine's Day, and chocolate is a big part of Valentine's Day. And so I have two subjects. One is the pairing of wine and chocolate, and I'm going to ask you to tell me anything because I don't know anything. And then I have the top 21 chocolates according to a group of ladies. Oh, nice. Actually, actually sat down with all these chocolates and, and decided which ones were the best, and I'll tell you what they are. Okay. But first, tell me about wine and chocolate pairing. Is this something that's new? Have people been doing this forever? Oh, yeah. People have been doing that forever because it's really, really nice. Yep. You get some white wine. You get some, uh, you know, a, a, a box of chocolates. Right. And then you get some flowers and you and, and strawberries, and then you sit and you really <laughs> indulge. It's really great. Wine and 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 chocolate make a nice, um, uh, flavorful dessert kind of a thing when you're you know after dinner and you just want to relax and have something light. Wine and chocolates really work really? Out well. So yeah. now I've never known you to do this. <laughs> Well, no. It's been well, okay. way, way years under- and years ago when he- I used to entertain. But help me understand something. Oh, okay. So you would put out wine and little chocolates? Yeah. What kind of chocolates would yeah. you put out? It was the uh, uh, variety of chocolates. Like you get Whitman's, you know, or, or Andy's, oh. min- a- a- Andy's mints were always a big hint. hit. Andy's mints, those little okay. rectangular I love those. things. Yeah, those were like So this the is best like cookie, cook- wine and chocolate. It's like cookies and milk? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Well, why, what, what's the point of the flowers? What do they? What? How do they help in any way? It just brightens up the room with ambiance. That's <laughs> See, all. This is the it's, it's 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 visual. You got to have something visu- visual and ingestible. So. Men love visual. Of course, flowers fine. Flowers <laughs> fine. <laughs> That's so right. is this is this really the world? So the virtual reality for men. Mm-hmm. You understand what that would be. That would be some right. goggles you put on and you see stuff. Exactly. So, what would virtual reality for women? Do you see flowers? You see flowers? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's the wine and chocolate pair. I have the, the the choices from the ladies. Now, I have never heard of most of these chocolates. Oh, oh. So is Hershey's on the list? I don't I know. Wait. We'll okay. find out together. All right. We'll find out Hershey's together. Hershey's is great. Comfort chocolate spelled with a K mm. is number. 21 on the list. Okay, not heard of that. It's number 21. Comfort chocolate. K-O-M. K-O-M. Uh-huh. Oh, K-O-M. F-O-R-T-E. Not yeah, they've got K-U-M. a couple of different flavors. Okay. They've got Raymond Noodle flavored chocolates. Really? You're kidding me. Oh, oh, no, no. They've got apple pie and graham crust flavored cookies. Oh, no, no. And they have French toast flavored cookies. No, no. Wow, it's $3.49 a bar. Okay. Comfort chocolates. No, I don't think so. Uh oh. Drop my pen. <laughs> Three forty nine and n- the number twenty down the list is Maru chocolates. They're nine dollars a bar. Maru, M A R O U. Oh, not heard of that. 
Number uh, 19 on the list is called Sweeteth Chocolate. Like sweet and then E-T-H. Oh, okay. Or maybe it's Sweet Teeth. Maybe it's pronounced Sweet Teeth. Oh, okay. Sweet Teeth, 5 to $7 per bar. Wow. Uh, they have they have chocolates like the C is for caramel, mm-hmm. spelled S E A as in the ocean. Oh, Call of the Wild with mm-hmm. port wine mixed in. Mm-hmm. Well, there's your wine and chocolate mixed together. Yeah, you there you go. Now that would be good. That would be delicious. And then there's the Apocalypse Bar, mm-hmm. whatever that is. <laughs> that's made by the, the Sweet Teeth Chocolates, five to seven. That's number nineteen on the list. Number eighteen on the list is Jacques Torre's Champagne Truffles, twenty dollars a box. Ooh, truffles! I love Jacques Torre's Champagne Truffles. Uh, they are shaped like like corks. That go in the top of a bottle. Oh, how cute is that? And I think they're filled with uh-huh. champagne. They've got champagne oh, in the middle of them. Now, that that should have been number one. That $20 really a nice. bottle. It's number 18. I mean, nice. a box. $20 a box. Wow. See them right there? Yeah, I do. They have great truffles in Ybor City, by the way. There's a chocolate <laughs> store down there. Their truffles are All right, number number 17 on the list of the 21 favorite chocolates from these ladies. 8 to $10.50 per bar mm-hmm. is the... Askinosi chocolate. A S K I N O S I E. Askinosi. Okay, I've never. Ask your nose, see? Askinosi, yeah, Askinosi. Uh, number 16 on the list is the La- Lake Champlain chocolate, $6 per bar. Lake okay. Champlain chocolate, $16. So far, the uh, uh, Jacques Toury champagne truffles are my favorite because I love packaging, too. I think that's great. Uh, okay. The, the, um, the Lake Champlain chocolates, they have one called the Spicy Aztec Bar with pumpkin seeds inside of it. Ooh. That sounds intriguing. All right. Number number uh, 15 on the list. $10 per bar for the Cacao Prieto. Pri- Prieto. Okay. Cacao Prieto. 72% dark chocolate or cacao prieto. Uh, comes with a postcard. <laughs> I wish you were here. <laughs> <laughs> Number 14 is yes. John and Kira's Be My Love Bugs, $42. You get nine candy candy pieces for $42. Nine candy pieces. Wow. They're hand painted, painted and have cute messages underneath them. Oh, look at that. The I see the caramel picture. bumblebees were a little too sweet, according to the ladies, but the chocolate ganache ladybugs hit the money spot. Oh, I love chocolate ganache. Hit the money spot. See, this is there something. There you go. I'm, I'm telling you. Chocolate ganache. That's They got the best chocolate ganache cake in public. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Yeah. All right, number 13. I just like the fact that they compared it to the money spot. Wow. <laughs> Number 13. Guys, take note. Number 13 uh, is the Mast Brothers Chocolate. $40 for five bars. M-A-S-T. Okay. Uh, It's made in Brooklyn, it says here. Oh, I wonder if they sell any of these in the Trump Towers. Those are expensive. Yeah, everything in the Trump Towers is expensive. 10, uh, sorry, 10. Number 12 Mm -hmm. is the Amadel Chocolate for $13.60. Oh, $13.60. $13.60. Is, is it a candy bar or like individual bars? Or? Oh, Amadai. A-M-E-D-E-I. Amadai. It's not an L. It's an I. It's a smooth, friendly, dark chocolate. Oh. Hmm. thirteen sixty a bar. Okay. Number 11 on the top 21 chocolates is dandelion chocolate. Eight to nine dollars a bar made out of San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like an adventure. <laughs> just, I'm not so sure what's so funny there. All right. N- number 10 is the Vosges Bacon Chocolate Bar. seven fifty a bar. It's got bacon mixed in. Oh, oh. Bacon yeah. and chocolate. That's what you're eating right there. Number 10. Okay. Number 9 on the list is the Vosges Chocolate Bonbons. Same company. $13 Ooh. for five of them. They're shaped like hearts. Okay. They've got caramel and a, f- and a hint of fleur de sel. De sel, whatever. Okay. Whatever that is. Flower of something. Number eight is the Woodstock, I'm sorry, the Woodblock, <laughs> oh. wood, Woodblock chocolate. $45 for 10 bars. Number eight. Um, well, that's only like, you know, $4 a bar. says here they're almost too cute to eat. Oh. But they, oh, those but are got, cute. But they got eaten anyway. Num- number seven is uh, the Grown Up Chocolate Company. Uh-huh. 
Okay, we know what that is. Whatever that is. They sell them for fifteen seventy five for four bars. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. All right, number oh. number six is the Dude Sweet Chocolate. The Dude Sweet Chocolate. Okay. Number five is the Equal Exchange Chocolate Hearts. Number four is the Droga Chocolate. Number three is the Prestat Heart Assortment. Number two is the Antidote. <laughs> and the number one chocolate, according to the ladies, was the Alma Chocolate Super Sampler. Alma, A L M A. Twenty two fifty. Twenty two fifty for a heart shaped box. We'll be right back. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios. This is W O C A. Ocala, Gainesville, the Villages. Thirteen seventy AM ninety six three FM. The source. News Radio. I'm Lillian Liu. As worries about measles outbreaks grows, Chicago health officials grappling with a cluster of new cases. Five infants who attend the same daycare in Palatine, Illinois, have been diagnosed. And about 10 more kids could have been exposed as well. Some of these children are too young to be vaccinated. Fox Radio's Tanya J. Powers, the source of infection has not been identified. We're getting more information about the deadly plane crash into a river in Taiwan. Safety officials say the plane's engines lost power before the crash. On the banks of the river in Taipei, divers pulling more bodies from the wreckage. Family members attending a prayer service for the 43. 43-